Hey, Mike, what do Kelly Slater and PT have in common? I don't know. They're both world champs? Nope. They both own Endless Summer Box Set. Oh, my God. Rad. You guys, you can get it, too. The link's in the show notes. Hey, this is Mike with the QuiverCast, brought to you by QuiverBuilder.com, an online community where you buy, sell, and surf for your next magic board. Hello, everybody. This is Mike here with the QuiverCast and our two special guests today. It's a married couple. We have Wally and Amber Puha, right? Yep, you nailed it. Nice. That's us. So you guys are, are married. Yeah. Yeah, so, just for a little while. That, that, sounded, <laughs> that sounded pretty bad on my part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... This is the first married couple we're having on the Quivercast, so I'm super, super excited. Nah, this is really cool. I, and, and, you know, Mike, I'm super thankful and, and appreciative that you decided to do this. So, oh, yeah, no. you, you, s- you work super hard, so I'm stoked. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks Hon- for having us. Honored to be here for sure. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks for having us as your guest today. No, Pretty thanks awesome. Thanks for over. You guys have the raddest backyard ever. Thank you. But the view and. Yeah, thanks. So, anyhow. I think it's. Labor lot, of love. I was going to say that a lot, of, a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Well, let's start off here with the first uh, kind of. Where did you guys meet? Of course, this is going to be the. <laughs> yeah, the you got to start this oh, off. Oh right? yeah, I knew it was going to. I knew it was going to start there. <laughs> <laughs> well, one guess. Oh, Surfing. Boy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that was my question. Yeah, I, was I like, think they wanted a little deeper than that, Amber. <laughs> We can get deeper, but I was wondering if it was surfing. Uh, it, I figured 90% sure it probably was. I think yeah. he wants to tell the story, so I'm going to let okay. him go well, with this one. No, so, yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, for sure it was surfing because, uh, I mean, Amber, back in the day, back in the 80s, she was, in my opinion and a lot of other guys' opinion, you know, the, the queen of Carlsbad. Okay. She's this girl that ripped, you know, super hard and um, super beautiful. So... You know, naturally, all the guys in Carlsbad, <laughs> me including, were just like, oh, it's that Amber girl, you know? We, we want to see that Amber girl. So, of course, we all want to go out with her. So, you know, she she was on everybody's radar. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I mean, for me, uh, I feel fortunate because it's super nice to have a partner that surf, you know, has common interests. Just, okay. just beyond, you know, we just love surfing so much. So, you know, it was really, uh, for me, super, super thankful that uh, she surfed and we ended up going out. But I think I missed the point about how we met, but you can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, at the time, uh, let's see, I was a little bit out of high school. Okay. And cruising around surfing, doing my thing, doing a little bit of coaching for the kids at Carlsbad High. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember this. And, um, yeah. And I was taking one of the one of the kids down surfing quite often. His name's Jeff Poole. All right. And um, oh, yeah. well, you know, somewhere along the way, he worked in there. Hey, you know that guy Wally that works at the surf shop? <laughs> oh, can I add to that? You know what was funny? I don't know if you remember. I think you don't remember this, but you were coaching Carlsbad, and um, I was helping the guy from El Camino High School. I, I'm going to call myself the assistant coach, but we, I was just helping him. Good friend of mine, John Gilly. And he was a coach for El Camino, so I decided to go down. And they were scrimmaging at uh, Southside. And I remember sitting on the jetty, and we, were, you know, the coaches were supposed to be judging. The kids were surfing, and of course, you know, the Queen of Carlsbad there. And I'm like, oh man, I get, you know, there's that. This is that girl Amber. Of course, I'm super nervous. <laughs> like I got, I got zero game. I don't know how to, you know, yeah. talk to girls at all. Yeah. You know, so the, I remember that was just like, yeah, knee buckling moment. Like, oh, it's that girl. You know, like. <laughs> And she surfs, and she's here, and I get to be by her. You know. yeah. So I'm pretty self-confident. I didn't know all that. <laughs> I think you did. Really? You're but, probably uh, trying to bury that deep in the memory bank. It's like, that guy was really a kook. So, <laughs> so Jeff tells me this. I'm like, huh, all right. So I march into the surf shop and go, hey, you want to go surfing? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah. you initiated. In- wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, super. For you. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. For a guy, like I said, I'm going to go back to what I said. I have no game. I don't know how to talk to girls, you know? So, <laughs> like, she could have walked up to any guy and they would have said yes, right? Oh, guaranteed. <laughs> all she had to do was look at him. We all melt, you know? Yeah. So, but yeah, she if she would have done that, oh, we, guaranteed. Like, you know, I mean, again, you know, she was, she was the catch, you know? But yeah, she did come into the surf shop. She did ask, well, Ask me out. You know, it wasn't like, hey, do you want to go have a drink? Or, you know, yeah, it was like, yeah. hey, do you want to go surf? Yeah. So it was yeah, super yeah. casual, mm-hmm. which was, you know, that's perfect for me. Like, yeah. Okay, I can surf. Maybe not as good as you, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so, you know, like, yeah, I'd be love to go surfing with you. So, yeah, she did. She initiated it. That's a rad um, story. I yeah. It, you know, and it's funny, too, because I just remember, you know, she, she at the time, she was, uh, Writing for the guy I was working in the surf shop in Carlsbad and she was working uh, or she rode Michael Barron's and we okay. we were we we sold tons of Barron's back then so right. we were the main shop <clears throat> and I remember seeing her boards up in the rafters you know they're hanging from the rope and I always look at oh that's that girl's board you know and I'm working in the shop so one day so you didn't say Amber's board you said that girl's well no it was Amber okay yeah but right, I didn't right, want all right, the right, like you know the ooh, gushy stuff come yeah, out yeah, yeah so yeah. yes Amber's boards and I remember she came to check on them it, and not offshore these windows face the, the parking lot I don't know if you remember that but okay. yeah so you know I, I was sitting at the counter and all of a sudden I see oh it's Amber in the parking lot oh no she's coming in here and she's dressed up just super beautiful <sighs> going to work she had to dress up super nice oh, okay and so I'm all, oh no. And of course, you know, at offshore, there's one way in and one way out, and it's small. And so I'm sitting there behind the counter, like, and it was me and another guy, my buddy Josh Potter. I'm like, dude, what do I do? And he's like, what, man? What's wrong with you? So, you know, if, if they had cameras on it, I'm running around in circles trying to find somewhere to hide. So uh, what do I do? I run straight for the dressing room and shut the door and hide in there. Until no she come, way. She comes in, checks out her boards and leaves. I'm all, dude. What? Because I was so scared. Mike. I was so scared. How old are you? Okay, this is pretty embarrassing because not like I was in high school. I think it was like 21 or 2. <laughs> <laughs> you know, still like... and how old are you, Amber? <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, we, yeah, we started dating when I was 20. 20 so I so guess okay. I was 23-ish, 22, 23. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm like, oh, man, that was a close call. Like, I never want that to happen again, you know? So... <laughs> But then it was after that is when she came in and she found out, yeah, this like guy. Like she straight walked straight up to you and confronted you. Yeah, she knew who I was yeah, at I this point. Yeah, words. she yeah. she knew who I was at this point because, you know, I mean, we had a couple like, oh, that's that guy. And, you know, Jeff Poole, this common friend of ours, and he, and he, you know, this is a funny thing. Like, how high school does that sound? Like, hey, dude, tell that girl I like her, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, it like worked, her. though. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Just, hey, everybody out there, don't use that move. Be a little more confident with yourself. <laughs> like, be sure of yourself. You know, if you want to talk to a girl, just remember they're human too. You know, like, don't take the Wally approach because <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> I know, but it worked. I just yeah. okay. Well, that's because yeah, but I just you're right. No, you're right. not because I made it work, Mike. No, no, it's no, because no. Amber. Amber, yeah. yeah, she's a yeah. she is like hey, Amber's a go getter. She knows what she wants. <laughs> Very confident lady. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, shows out in the lineup too. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a good story. <laughs> oh man, anything to add to that, Amber? No, we're so, that's okay. About so right. how was the first surf? And how 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 was how nervous were you? Were you nervous, Amber? No. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know. Now, while he was stressing the first Oh, yeah, I probably did went over the falls like 50 times, you know. Like, gosh, man, she's still going to want to go out with me after I'm just like, I'm such a kook, you know. Do you remember the day and where it was at? Where you guys surfed? I think it was North. We were going to North Jetty a lot at that time. Yeah, we surfed North Jetty quite a lot. She was was warming up a lot because at the time she was going for her pro career. So there was a lot of contests at the pier and North Jetty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We were doing a lot of that. So I, I think it was North Jetty. You don't remember how big it was or anything? or like Trust me, it didn't matter. I was with Amber. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you guys meet at the beach? Or did you guys drive no, together? No. The cool thing is I think she actually drove, too. Like, all right, this is, you know, like the new woman, right? Like, I'm going to take you. You get in my car. I'm wow, driving okay. you. I'm like, all right, you're going to pick up the, the check yeah. at, at lunch, too? or <laughs> you know, so. That's, yeah. So it was totally opposite of what it should have been. Yeah, back then. Yeah, I know, right? If you think about 
back in those days yeah. yeah it's like no i'm the man i'm gonna you know yeah. i'm gonna pay for it i'm gonna you know, i'm gonna right. show you i'm driving say, yeah i'm gonna show you where to sit in the lineup Mm-mm. amber yeah. shows me where to sit in the lineup. Yeah. <laughs> so then uh, who was surfing better then come on mike you know who was <laughs> everybody out there that's listening to this podcast you know who was okay all right <laughs> to this day they still say it <laughs> But That's I think, awesome. But I think it's a little more in jest. No, it's uh, not. She uh, shreds. <laughs> no, she, you serve good. Yeah. I serve good. I, I have fun. I, I love what I do, and I put a lot of my, my time into the ocean and um, for a lot of years, so I really love surfing, but Wally certainly surfs great. We oh, have, we for have, sure. We have a good time together. Um, it, it's, you guys are like the power surf couple. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Maybe she's got more power. I like, okay. the, like the twinkle talk, like stay right. through the inside. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's it's a yeah for sure. You know, having a a partner that surfs is really it's super fun. You know, just surf trips. Uh, you know, I I don't want to be with the guys. I'd rather be with my wife. Okay. Or, you okay. Know, yeah. So that's I have a lot of those questions. Oh, we'll, yeah, well, we'll, sorry, we'll dig more in ahead. Sorry, no, you're not. You're yeah, not yeah. Actually, so how long have you guys been married now? Ooh. Well, this is a pretty special yeah, year special for us. Year. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, we're, we'll be thirty years in August. Nice, that's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, in America today, like no one's married thirty <laughs> years anymore. In, in that's super awesome. Yeah, you, at least in America, I don't know. I just, I'm um, just throwing that out there. Yeah, no, like was it Melinda, or Belinda Gates, and Bill Gates are just they're calling it quits. Really? I, know, yeah. I just saw that on the news I today. Twenty-seven the news years are done. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, but you know, look, relation relationships, not easy. It's hard. Yeah, for it sure. Has rough spots, but. You know, you people are like, well, it's so much work, but you know, really, it's something you want to work at. Do you want to be a good surfer? You got to work at it. No, oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. good words. You know, it's good. It's good. It's worth it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, thirty years. Yeah. But don't forget. So what, the, oh, when's the when's the month of the August? Okay, so you're like three months away. Yeah, three months, months away. away. Then if you want to count the dating years, so we actually started dating in '87. Yeah. Oh, okay. Four yeah. years. Oh, okay. So we've been together for a long time. That's right. A lot of surf together. But we just uh, <laughs> we just actually planned a very special trip to kind of celebrate and I'm our. I'm stoked about this. <laughs> our thirtieth. Yeah. Because we're gonna go to the Maldives. Are yeah. you? Yeah. Have you guys yeah. been there before? No. No. So. We were just really searching Have you been? for. No. Okay. No. Yeah, we you were just, just really searching for a place to go where we would be able to surf and that was open for surfing. Oh, and okay. yeah, right with big, COVID. Yeah, with COVID yeah. and everything that's going on. And uh, we decided to go for it. So super excited about that upcoming trip. We, we're going to go to the ride at Kanduma. And um, yeah. Little little plug there for Kanduma. <laughs> I well, don't know that they need them, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure it's packed and they're not. Yeah, don't say that, Mike. I don't yeah. want it to be packed. <laughs> Okay, then I'm going to jump ahead to some of my questions sure, later sorry. on. Yeah. No, don't. Go ahead. You're this the is captain of the ship. Show us this where This is to how go. it flows. Okay. Where have you guys been on? Okay, let's say vacation time. You guys are talking about a vacation. How are you picking your vacations? Oh, gosh. Surfing. Amber okay, will, that's, yeah. Yeah, Amber will pick it wherever there's a good left, and I guess I got to go on my backhand. Okay. <laughs> so. It makes you a better backside? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so. We've done a lot of Baja over the years. Baja's okay. a real special um, place, for sure. Yeah, we yeah. have, um, we have a, the F-250 and a nice cab over camper on there. Oh, and okay. a nice setup for we camping, are, for sure. We're quite regulars, um, you know, down in, in the middle of Baja, uh, and especially don't, don't in the winter. Don't tell about it. And, yeah. uh, Secret spots. Secret and, spots. Uh, you know, I have a history of going to Baja. Yeah. Okay. Um, my dad actually took us. Uh, there's pictures of me on the beach as a, a very young child. Really? Okay. And so we have been going to Baja my whole life. Um, but interestingly, the two of us started down this path because of one of his friends, Eric. Yeah. Um, and uh, he said, hey, guys, I want to go down and catch some waves. You want to come with? And Wally goes, well, can I bring Amber along? Yep, my girlfriend. <laughs> and, uh, He's a what? <laughs> we, we packed it up, and, and he took us down, and we did some tent camping, and it was a we just timed it. We had swell. We were kind yeah. of in and out of there with, like, three days of solid surfing, one and we best, loved it so yeah, much. Yeah, one of the best surfs we had down there in a, ever. Yeah, it yeah. was great. Right so, out of the gate, yeah. So we, yeah, we've done in, a lot of it. She and her dad really turned me into a Baja guy. Okay. You know what I mean? So are you hitting the point breaks down there, or are you getting, yeah. like, beach yeah. breaks? You don't have to say the breaks. Yeah, no, we both. can. I mean, everybody. Whatever. Me and me and all our like sixty of our best friends are all secret spot. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's the seven sisters. Everybody goes in the yeah, wintertime. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, but yeah, there's that's definitely one of the more like special ones because we've been going there for so long. Yeah. But uh, for sure, Indo. And yeah, in recent years, maybe like the last fifteen, would you say? 
we've been kind of we've been doing more travel uh so we've been to bali we, nice. we went there in 2011 that was just a magical trip, Super good trip um, yeah. and that was that was amazing and then uh we did a boat trip actually out to the mentawe islands in 05, 05. Mm -hmm. and that was with a good friend of of mine who um also became a good friend of Wally's. We I met him at UC San Diego as a student there. Okay. And surf he team. he was the manager of the surf team. Yeah. And then he went on to live up in NorCal and he had a boat and he was doing these trips and we, we planned a nice uh, trip. Yeah. And his, gotta love his that brother networking. Joined us. Like, oh, dude, you got a boat in Indo? Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Just gotta get the airplane. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, a few, few get, boards, a yeah, few boards yeah. to pay for the, you know, we do the bartering thing. Uh, okay. But cool. yeah. Yeah, bartering. Awesome. But, but yeah, yeah. Indo, Indo's are really. And then lately us. it's been Sumatra. Yeah. Well, South Sumatra. Really? How many times yeah. have you guys been there? Twice. Wow. Yeah. We, we kind of got we cut off on the third one because of. Yeah, the, we wanted to go back this year. What's been happening. Yeah. But mm -hmm. maybe in the future. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully that one's that one's a really fun trip. The so, um, you guys show up there. So, <clears throat> do you guys go on vacations non serving? Like go to Europe or anything like that? What? Funny you say that. We did that trip, the last Europe trip. We have. Um, with my job, I'm a professor, so okay. there's sometimes travel and conferences. Oh, nice. And uh, so, was that maybe two years ago, three years ago, three mm -hmm. years ago, I think, uh, yeah. I got invited to speak somewhere in um, in Europe, and he came along afterwards. Yeah, and twist my we, arm, I have to go to Europe. Uh. Just, he, we, we, we did Scotland, <laughs> and we, we went into London, it and we, we went to Paris. and No boards? No boards. Did you look like the waves? Like, Scotland is good. I know. And, you know, actually, we were going to bring boards, but I got hurt. Oh, I Got okay. an injured bug, and I just couldn't. There, we, it, it lasted forever, and we had actually planned to go south of France and do some surfing. And, yeah. But I could just, like, paddling with one arm at a, you know, the Fran France yeah, Beach Yeah, it's probably not good. Was, not a good idea. Yeah. So we got the boards, had to stay home. And then, you know, it's kind just, of funny. Go ahead. Was it refreshing? Not having to worry about <sighs> Surfing, just it, different, just different. different. Yeah, 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 you know, you're not Fun. you're not lugging board bags, you you're know, right. through the airport, and you're not, you know, it's it, that's a little chaotic when you travel. You got you know, these yeah. coffins with your luggage, and your, you know, people are cutting in front of you. They like don't even know that you have this, you know, thirty yeah. pound board bag. <laughs> like we don't care that about that anyway. But it was different, and I, you know, honestly, I was surprised because, you know, Amber, she's got two things on her mind: work mm -hmm. and surf. Okay. And so, you know, she's she, right. <laughs> and she, you know, if we're going to go somewhere, she's like, does it have a good wave there? You know? Right. <laughs> like, yeah. But she's like, and because it was me that was injured, she couldn't surf. So, you know, I'm not saying she didn't, I didn't say, hey, you can't bring your boards because I would have been happy to sit on the beach, you know, permanent video guy. But no, she didn't bring her boards and she was happy just do, you know, doing a somewhat different kind of tour. You know, we did the full tourist thing. We did, cool. you know like what everybody else is doing yeah 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 yeah. So, but yeah it was fun it was different for sure okay uh but definitely i had a great time and and would we do it again maybe i mean you know if you, you end up in the middle of europe where there's not surrounded by you know any kind of ocean i guess we would do it but yeah okay yeah but you're still but overall you're gonna pick a surf destination yeah usually if it's vacation for okay. sure it's gotta have so some of those sure. trips you had to tell us about those waves how were the waves good <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh man, you come so back to when, Oceanside like, oh man. <laughs> when we, I have a really good memory of, uh, well, two special memories from when we went to Bali. Let's hear okay. it. And um, nice. <clears throat> so uh, one of them was, um, I'm trying to think the main break when it, uh, uh, at Uluwatu? Yeah, Uluwatu. Oh, okay. So okay. We, we, we pulled up to Uluwatu one day and um, we're kind of on the cliff hanging and there's some surf out there and it, it it's a little bit fat looks like and um i'm like all right no, not too many people out i'm going because yeah, typically it loses, time, you know, time to surf packed so i i grab my a little bit bigger board and i get out there and mm -hmm. um and without the crowd like i hooked into like two or three just beautiful beautiful lefts and i had my bigger board so i was confident and fun okay. and all of a sudden like ants they're just um, scampering so, down so the hill. Way. oh so funny mike oh. <laughs> and i uh, came back up the hill and uh, michael's daughter michael baron's daughter, daughter Jess yeah. jessica baron was up on the hill she goes i thought that was you <laughs> yeah, yeah she's probably all where's wally oh yeah it's too big for him he's sitting up there he had you know 
having a smoothie. <laughs> Pretty much was the truth because I'll never forget that because I was doing exactly that. Amber was out charging, and it, it honestly it wasn't very good. It, you know when she first paddled out. Yeah. And so you know I'm sitting up there chilling one of the water room. I don't know how to say that, but where all the people eat the and uh, wall rungs, yeah. wall rungs, and um, and I'm chilling on the. Amber's out there, and all of a sudden, you just see all these people waxing up, like scrambling, like what? You know, like are we getting evacuated? <laughs> no, Ulu's is starting to fire, like it's starting to be really, really good, and it, exactly what she said. Like you just see all these guys scrambling down the cliff, just get, like. Did the conditions change, or I think or they were just kind of. The, they the saw tides, you catch the, the, the tides. The tide started to drop. Okay. I yeah, got the. Sorry, I, got, I got. Yeah. The, I got the <laughs> swing, and yeah. everybody's like, "Oh, magic! It's yeah. gonna turn it was, on now." I, I yeah. remember that because I was like, "Whoa, it's good out there. It's it's really good." Yeah. Um, and then the other one that I remember, which is, uh, we we drove to the north. I think that is. And Gosh, which, yeah. there's the black yeah. sand beach, and uh, it's like the, it's like trestles, mm. except it's a left. Nice. Yeah. As soon as I say the word, they're gonna go, "Oh, and that's why Wally went there. It's the biggest mush burger in the world." <laughs> it's oh, called Medu man. Medui, I think. That Med was Medui, or something like that. I, I, but I didn't think I was gonna come in. I got so many fun ways. Ah. It was beautiful, and yeah, uh, they were, they had. Were, they had come in and they were on the beach and somebody was taking photos yep. of the session just wanted to sell them and they they he was just hounding wally <laughs> yeah but those those sh those shots you got of that at meadow weed man you got some really good shots yeah you know, they're, they're, they're so keepers. Did you buy them? oh yeah oh, for cool. sure yeah, yeah the kids so you send some of those over to the night so i can put them on my instagram oh, okay yeah. oh cool yeah 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 awesome yeah yeah so those are two distinct memories how from big bali. was it um probably like a Two three feet overhead. It wasn't okay. it wasn't but huge. Just but, but yeah, just like, rippable. Yeah, just rippable. But kind of yeah. like lower is in that it's you know it's performance. Playful. Performance. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not. You're not top feared of, for your life. Yeah, you're yeah. like, oh man, I got to scrape myself up off the reef after this session. You know, yeah. it's 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 really it's long. It's got a good wall to it. You can just do a million. Is turns. there a right to it at all or no? No, okay. it's it's like a river mouth and it just yeah full on. Nice. Rest. Yeah, I know I like those ones that are combo. You can go the other way because yeah. it's like. Go on the right. You already split them? <laughs> split them. There's no arguing? Yeah. A <laughs> uh, little bit. You're like, dude, I thought you were going left. No, man, I want to go right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys are, let's say, anything else about that, by the way? No. No, that's, that's a good memory. I think there were some memory. pretty memorable sessions at uh, Sumatra, though, too. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Let's hear about those, then. Yeah, no, it, that, that, that left at Sumatra is really good. A Jung Bacor, and it's in South Sumatra. And, man, that wave is it's just, again, pretty much... I don't know if it's as good as Ulu's, but it's just a good rippable wave, you know, and it, it's really consistent. Okay. Um, multiple takeoffs, so you can kind of like sit wide or whatever, but that wave is super good too. It might not be as machine like, it might be a little more yeah. sensitive to particulars of the swell. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, when we got there in the beginning of the first trip, I think it was. I mean, it was kind of washing through and oh, ripping yeah. and hard to get out. Yep. And uh, most people were driving to places that were a little more sheltered. Yep. yep. <clears throat> so it, it has its days when you don't really want to surf it. So, mm -hmm. uh, but when it's clean and on, oh, that left is just so beautiful. And then the second time we went there, remember, it was, uh, we got, we booked a place right on the point. So yep. we could like dial in like when everybody was coming in for, you know, breakfast or lunch. Yeah. Or catch the glass. That's smart. It, it was, yeah. The first time we had to ride our scooters up to the point. Second time we're like, we're gonna stay there. Okay. And we did okay. it for the second time. Yeah. And that was a really good call. Yeah. And then guys. So you're just cool. kicking back until you see the. You know, yeah. You just kick back and you're like, yep, going to do it. You know, yeah. you run out there. It's perfect. It's 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 a dream. You know, it's like one of those things you could you come in, you eat, you relax, do whatever, and then watch it changing, different tides, different winds, and you can just you know different you know in between crowds. So that, how that many place. boards you guys bring with you? <laughs> this is with, want to hear our first husband and wife fight. This is where okay. it'll kick in right now. <laughs> okay. These are some of the questions I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's throwing boards in. Like we'll just B use boards. the boards. Yeah, we'll throw. We'll use the Baja analogy in the camper. She's throwing boards in. I'm throwing her boards out. Like, what do you need that one for? You're not. It's not going to be that big. What do you need that one for? Like, like, gosh, Amber, you got he, so many boards. He likes, to, he likes to minimize. And, okay. and I and I'm just thinking of it as, why do I have all these boards if right. I'm not going to ride them? Wait, are you agreeing with her, Mike? Come on. So, <laughs> well, if they fit in the if they fit in the truck, yeah, they should go. They should go. <laughs> yeah. She you, you never know. Like, there's definitely there's days when we get on these surf trips. And I was like, man. I didn't bring my 6.3. I didn't think it was going to be big. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you can ride one of my boards, honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, because they're too big. <laughs> it means I actually got to surf a big wave. 
I'll stick with my little boards. But yeah, we, she brings a lot. But you know, when you when you try when you fl- fly, right? You know, you can only put as many boards as you can fit in your coffin, right? Right. It's so like two or three, or how many? I think in there? she's got like the four board coffin. Oh, okay. So okay. And so I think there's it. restrictions in Bali too. Uh, oh how, yeah, how Bali boards? is pretty restrictive about how many you bring into the country. Oh, okay. They don't want you to sell them. And, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah, they're they they're worried Disrupts you're going to bring you know. Oh okay. Bring, like you know, bringing in a bunch to sell. So yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. Actually, yep. I never thought about it, but me neither. It's like. I've heard of guys getting there. Are they like, checking to see you bring the same amount back as you I, do? No, it's just entering. Yeah, just entering, but they just try to keep it. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, they don't want you with 20 boards because there's something going like, on. Like, yeah, dude, you're not going to ride all those. <laughs> you know, wow. still, like most of them. Yeah. And most guys probably do. You know, they're probably making, you know, making their trip trip that way. by. Who are they selling like, them to? The locals or are they sh- the other tourists? Yeah, international travelers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, There's a lot. Okay. And, and the, uh, and the, the people the, break their boards there, too. That, yeah. So they're searching for another one. And if you're leaving... and What's the shop like there? Are they carrying boards? Yeah, you know, Bali's changed a lot. You know, like if you talk to MB, he's like, you know, it used to be just like these little huts. Mm-hmm. Now it's, you know, well, the way I describe it, it's like Waikiki in Indonesia. Really? Yeah, it is it is tourist heaven. These big, beautiful surf shops. Okay. <laughs> surf shop. They actually have a board building community there. Okay. So, so they you know, have shapers now. They have so. shapers. Cool. Yeah, they Good fl- for them. A lot of them fly in, but they have their own uh, there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, so, but. They got to train the guys, like the locals, they I'm do, sure. Yeah, they assume, they, train right? their, they got their workforce there. And I, there's one guy there that has a setup factory, and pretty much all the, the uh, big board builders use this one guy, Basti. Okay. So, yeah. But, um,. It uh, Amber, yeah, she she brings lots of surfboards. <laughs> but yeah. you never know. Yeah, I know. You're right, Mike. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So that that was some of my questions. I like. Okay, I interrupted you earlier on there okay. on your um, story of the travels. But oh. so let's say you guys are surfing together, like a good a North Jetty. Let's say. Yeah. There's a good wave coming through, like a one wave set. <laughs> Who's good? You guys are sitting next to each other. Who's going? Are you guys splitting it? Like yeah. how does? Uh, who rules here? Amber definitely rules. Okay. I, I am Mr. Passive. Man, <laughs> like, did she tell you, you, you better not drop in? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a good thing about Amber, Mike. She, you okay, know, right. She's very, you know, and I've seen this too. Like, guys guys burn girls all the yeah, time. Yeah, well, I think in surfing, I think everyone's equal. E- heck yeah. And, and I think, you know, doesn't it's matter. doggy dog, I Being guess. Girl, boy, kid, doesn't matter. Yeah. Everybody's equal. If you're in a position... You know, go. And, you know, it's funny because guys are like, oh, that guy burned Amber. Did you see that? And I'm thinking, yeah. And they're like, you know, what are you going to do? Mom? <laughs> Look at me. I can't punch my way out of a paper bag. What do you think? I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> you know, Amber can take care of herself, you know? Okay. She, All right. And, but she's very constructive about it because I've seen her do it, you know, like, especially on the north side. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, you've, you know how the crowd gets yeah, there. Yeah. But, you know, guys will burn her and she'll just. Like, now they burn you just because you're a lady? Yeah. Like, seriously? Yeah, Sorry, definitely. Amber. I mean, you know, really? for, so for, first of all, the the line of, especially at a good wave, right, is a difficult place to establish yourself in, in right. the priority order and to earn that respect. Right. And uh, being a woman, there's always going to be the question about whether you can handle it and mm-hmm. whether and everybody. But you've been they, around they, this your whole life. Yeah, <laughs> and some days some people are cool about it, and there's a lot of people who are super nice, and I'm super happy to surf with, and I like sharing waves with them. And other people, surfers are selfish. Totally selfish. Surfers and they, really change a lot when they hit the water. And they can the nicest change. guy on, earth, on land, <laughs> yeah. as soon as they touch the water, you're like, what happened to you? Yeah. Right? And yeah. So, you know, it's just it's, it's life as a surfer. And you okay. got you got to figure, figure out how you're going to, um, you know, be yourself, have a good time, and not but stick not up lose, for yourself, not, and not, but not lose perspective and stick okay. up for yourself. Okay. But I think that's so, what's good about you, though, Amber, and, and you know this, and I see it. What I was going to say, is, and I'll expand on it, is that you know, Amber, she she'll call you out, you know, like, hey, you burned me, man, that wasn't cool at all. You know, she won't even like start you know, using f bombs or anything. She'll just say, hey, you burned me, that wasn't cool. Don't do it again. And you, you know, of course, you know, like most of the time, it's guys, and we're like, what? And you want to keep arguing, and you, you know, you're following the person back out she just turns around and paddles away you know like put you in your place you're you're a jerk and just i'm gonna move on you know i'm gonna keep surfing i don't want you to ruin my surf you know yeah 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 but amber's super constructive like that and i mean it's like 
you know, I see her do it with her students. You know, I see her do it with just, you know, the guys out. <clears throat> Mostly it's guys. And there's a couple of girls that get pretty aggressive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are so, there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you've seen one of them. <laughs> we are not going to use names, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm just thinking of more of the the like. So you're you're letting her. Oh herself. yeah, so we're at North Jetty. Sorry, okay, yeah, yeah, and yeah. she, you know, hey, here comes the, you know the most perfect wave. And technically, you're it's your wave. Let's say technically you're, you're it's my wave. Side. You know, the thing is, Amber will know. She'll just let me go. Okay. But most right. of the time, I just she like, never gives you the look. Like she gives me, me the look, and I know that look, and I'll just <laughs> and I'll just go pull back you go you know and i do that with okay not just amber i because just like you said surfers are selfish yeah but, um, they I, are. I like i okay but it's gonna, your husband so you're yeah. cool i don't know i, I let her go okay. I, I really honestly I, I mean i think maybe wally, in our whole wally is incredibly generous in the water okay there's and a couple guys that might not say that but right. <laughs> no he's incredibly generous in the water and some people don't realize it and they sit by him Mm. And they haven't noticed how generous he's being. They're using me as a buoy. And they just mm. like, and it's like, dude, why would you come to talk to me if you're not going to share? Come on. And you know what? I, that's just my nature. Probably super passive aggressive, and I let him do it. But I'm inside. I'm just like, come on, man. You just paddled around me twice. You know. Yeah, I can get. But you know, be. again, it's my nature. It, it, I'll let him do it. But you know, I, I, I like. I just see the joy and the stoke that Amber gets surfing. So. It, and that's top to bottom. Whether she wants to go surfing, I'll go with her. If she wants me to go, does she want the best wave? I'll let her go. So it's fine, you know. I, I, I again, I know how much she loves it. She, she wants to surf. <laughs> What's the best part of? You kind of touched on it a lot, like throughout this conversation we've had. But as being a partners, married, and surfing together, like, what's so great about that? Well, I, I can I, see a lot of downfalls too. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally. <laughs> Go ahead. You can start off. Let's say like now. picking waves. Like where you we want to surf. Yeah, we're going to surf. Like yeah, she's you want to go out of north. Like, yeah. So I think, you know, when we were younger, we definitely stuck together more and okay. made our decisions to like, okay, we're going to go surfing. We're going to go surf here. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Like pre, pre-leaving to go surf? Or, or just... Like going pulling up and, and like get, just pulling up, checking it out and going, or yeah, even we deciding. To, we used to surf together all the time. Together all the time. Yeah. Okay. And as I think, as we, uh, you know, everything in life, one, one 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 thing about being married, I'm getting mm-hmm. lazy, is that you know you can't be static. You have to let mm. each other grow, and you have to let things change a little bit, and have mm-hmm. a little faith, and have a little trust that if they change, they won't necessarily go away mm, okay and um he, that looks, that's, he he's got he's gotten a lot less uh resilient in terms of surfing in the crowd okay or sir and he's way more willing to just like go down the beach and just surf a wave that's not as good right or go at a time when it's not going to be as good mm-hmm. and uh i'm a little more like i still want to go try to do those things so we definitely these days have less surfs together, yeah. and when we do have that opportunity where we go together and it's the two of us in the water, um, and you know hopefully not too crowded, it's kind of special. One of my favorites. Yeah, I can Love see it. it. You know, she gets suit. You can just see her light up. Like you're gonna come with me today. <laughs> you know, I'm like you're not gonna do gentleman's hour and go at twelve o'clock. <laughs> you know? So do you invite him every time you go? Oh, he's always yeah. invited. She does. What, I mean, just verbally, she, do you say? She, oh, yeah. She's like, honey, I'm going to go surfing. You want to come with me? Okay. Yeah, All right. for sure. She does. And you're turning her down most of the time? Uh, Say, you know, again, let's wait an hour? Yeah, yeah, wait an hour. Do you ever to- try to talk her into waiting for you? No, because I know she... I, so that's one thing. I don't hold her back. And okay. that goes for everything. It, okay. it, everything in, in our relationship, in her life, I don't hold her back. Because, again, she's a go-getter, you know? Okay. And so... Yeah, she goes, you know, she, <laughs> it's pretty much, honey, do you want to come with me? No, nah, I'm tired. I'm going to sit here for another hour. <laughs> you know? Drink some coffee. Drink some coffee. <laughs> yeah. you know? Chill with the cat. Just hang out. Um, so, yeah, so she, she goes. But, you know, it's those times. Like, it, that's why I know it's it's special because for her mm-hmm. and for me, too. I, I, it's not just her. But, yeah, I could see her light up. She's like, oh, you're going to. She said it the other day, oh, I can't believe we're surfing together. Like, All yeah. right. Yeah. So I it's have this, uh, this memory from, gosh, it's. 20 plus years ago now because it was when I was um, a new faculty member at Cal State San Marcos Mm -hmm. and uh, I I did something related to trying to get the surf team started up on campus and there was some drama associated with it and associated students wasn't too happy with me and um, 
we and then I came back in the afternoon and uh, Wally and I went to surf and we surfed south side of the pier and it was bombing good and nobody was out back in those days you could catch it like that yeah, it was yeah, clean yeah. and I don't know it was just the two of us and these rights and yeah. we were just having so much fun and catching so many good waves and it's like everything just washed off me like all right now i'm ready to go deal with that and you really touched on something that is a special moment for me too like we, we always remember that it, it still happens when you you know it's just the two of us we're catching super fun waves and we're looking around there's nobody out like yeah. this is the best you know yeah. you got your best buddy out there surfing yeah. with you you know hooting each other on yeah and we're just you know by ourselves and you know that that for sure has you know, those are special moments and yeah, that still happens. Oh, okay. It still does, yeah. You get those real random surfs when nobody's around and it's just a two. No, that's, yeah, that's available out there. You just got to look for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you right now. Okay. I thought you guys would answer these completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you want a little more controversy, let's no, see. What, no, what no, topic I don't know if think? I want a controversy. Well, let's see. What, what can we talk about? <laughs> I, we got into the too many board thing. <laughs> okay. So here's another one. Here's another scenario. One of you guys blow a wave in front of the other one. You guys call them like call the other one out. <laughs> I think it's most. So maybe I wrote these as being controversial. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, maybe yeah. I think uh, well, you definitely get a good chuckle out of you okay. or me. But again, Amber, it's all good fun, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe you picked the wrong couple because if you want a controversy, no, about I don't Amber, know. <laughs> Amber is again, so she's mellow. so constructive. Like, yeah. you know, she won't ever. Well, like, does she try to improve your surfing? Like. You know, here's what you should have did, Wally. You should have... You know, yeah, you know, like maybe put a little more on rail because <laughs> yeah, you're kind of weak. <laughs> you know? yeah. No, it's just she's just so constructive. She doesn't. She never laughs at anybody. Okay. You know, she's just positive about everybody. She will never... She would never laugh at anybody or put anybody down. You know, I get a like... I, I, I you get a little chuckle, like I, a little hee-hee-hee. Like, you know, that, that was, was funny. pretty good dismount, huh? Yeah, you know, some of those. <laughs> but, you know, gosh, Amber is just super... She's positive. Positive, positive person, you know, so... You really don't get those, you know, somebody blows it. Of course, me. Uh, yeah, if you want some controversy, talk about the, you know, when I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a coach, but when I'm watching you surf a heat, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> okay, yeah. so let's talk about that. Back so, in the day, I used back to surf the a day. lot of contests. Contest. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, what contest were you surfing? Uh, so when when Wally and I met, I had was just kind of coming up on the end of doing all the amateur stuff. Okay. I had been surfing the um, National Scholastic Surfing Association events primarily, mm -hmm. um, both the open season and explorer season. Um, that's when Lisa Anderson was doing the West Coast stuff. Mm. We, we kind of came up at about the same time. Um, Janice surfed. Janice Aragon surfed against us a bit. Who's you know the She's director older, director of the NSSA, yep. but. Um, so she was in the explorer season, uh, and um, and then there was Nea Post and Jan oh, yeah. and Janelle Anello was doing them back then. Um, yeah, we had a pretty good crew. It was it was a good a good final for sure. Mm. Gaylene Clifford was in there and a um, few others. Uh, really really good good times doing them. Um, yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You didn't want to hear me coach, though, because this is where probably okay, I'm not I want to hear a, this. Yeah, I'm not a good human being because I would be the one like, why aren't you paddling hard enough? You okay. Know, really. you know, oh, yeah. You're that, super. I'm a bad. I'm like yeah. the typical Little League dad, that, mm. but with well, my wife. Yeah. Yeah, he would get Which a little bit. worse. He, it's he, pretty bad. He, 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 he <laughs> really bad. A bit, he gets a little bit gnarly. So, uh, like, well, he's, he's, yeah, so they have him on tape at. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot about Oh no! Okay, we're not gonna oh, get we're not so gonna this audio. I forgot about that. We're, oh, we're, man. We're, fast, we're fast forward a little bit. So um, yeah, college team season. So somewhere, somewhere along the way, I made some decisions that somewhere. I I decided. You know, I don't I don't know about this pro surfing thing. I've mm. got I've got some other talents, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to college. And uh, I uh, made my way over to UCSD, and I was doing the surf team there. Okay. And um, we we had a really stellar team. It was a great group of humans uh, to to be involved with. And we were surfing nationals, and I was in the final at lowers. Back in that day, we used to get lowers. Yeah. It was it was yeah. rad. And it was good lowers. It was good lowers. A little bit overhead. Twenty minute heat. Top four waves back then. So this <laughs> okay. is this is a uh, ninety three. Okay. Um, and um, 
That's rough to do, actually. Yeah, think yeah, about that, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're tired. You're winded. Six, six, yeah. six, other, six girls in the lineup, five, and you're trying to get... Oh, and you man. get the longest right, and you got five minutes, you know, 20 yeah. minutes to get back yeah. to the line. Oh, you know, right. yeah. So I had a strong Sorry. start in the heat. and um, She was ripping. And I, <laughs> what's that mean? Two good waves, or uh, what's a good strong start? I had two, I would say, really excellent waves and another good one. And I was scrapping to get a fourth one at the end of the heat. <laughs> and I got some dribbler and just, you know, it was like, uh, oh, you know. And, and Brian Sanders is in there videoing the heat. He's a guy on our team. <laughs> and we're watching the video playback after all. And he's just cussing uh, in the background. This is not good. His arms up and, oh, man. What are you doing? You got to get this. that fourth wave. <laughs> Yeah, you're not paddling hard She's enough. She's gonna lose the national title right now because of this. This oh. is just awful. And <laughs> but remember what Sand what was with either Weber or Sanders said, like, dude, she's ripping. What's wrong with you? No, not, yeah. what's, but they're just all, dude, she's ripping. You know, like, but his heart was into you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's, it, you got to go harder. You know, yeah, bad coach. Like, yeah. Yeah, don't that's, ever let me that's funny. coach your he, kids because. He could be a little intense. Where's that guy today? Is it around? I have no idea. Uh, it was it belonged to the that. guys on the team. I know where it is, but I buried it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to hear that? <laughs> Uh, funny, funny. Good times, oh, though. Man. Those those are some good times. Yeah, bad and coach, I think Mike. The I'm awesome a bad thing coach. about that is, you know, we. I was going to college. Wally was busy shaping. He he really wasn't going to school at that time. Mm -hmm. But there he was on the beach, a hundred percent, like involved in what I'm doing and supporting it and being there and. Um, and we actually still have that group of friends to this day. We oh, just, nice. We yeah. just, uh, Chuck Golden, we just went to dinner with them uh, on Saturday night. And Dan from the team was who we did the boat trip with. Yeah, oh, cool. that, that was like one of the best. That was, you know, a, I think, that was a super amazing. Yeah, one of the best things about surfing. He shapes know. boards for so many of those guys. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. What's good about this is like, you know, our best friends, our longtime friends, all this network from surf team, you know, that right. it's it just the incredible. I wasn't even on the team, and now these guys are my best friends. Right. You know. So, with that being said, how would your marriage be different, either one, if one the, if the other one didn't surf? Like, it would be completely different. Yeah, that's that's a pretty strong dynamic when it comes to couples. Cause I know a lot of friends that you know. Most. Yeah. All pretty like, much. Don't I know. <laughs> You're the only ones I know that are married and surf. <laughs> how would that look? Like. You're talking about you guys' friends or your guys' friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, For me, it would be so strange. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have girlfriends who surf, mm -hmm. and their husbands don't surf. Really? Uh, yeah. Huh. Eva at UCSD, her husband doesn't surf, and um, and there's a few others, and, you know, they go down to the beach, and they do their thing, and uh, and I, I think... What's hubby doing? Yeah. He's just hanging out, laying out? Or, I mean, what's he doing? Yeah. Well, I don't even know if, if Baki if he, goes down to the beach. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Right? So it's just very much their world. Mm -hmm. But this is just such a big part of my life and who I am to be a surfer. Mm -hmm. I think there's many things that I do that Wally doesn't do, and there's things that he does that I don't do. Like, he really loves golfing. Okay. I'm into yoga. And I don't like math. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, sometimes you're, you do a better job than my students, thanks. my college kids. Thanks, thanks teacher. <laughs> well, there you go. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, uh, yeah, you don't, the, everything can't line up. But this is a pretty big but, part of who we are yeah. and what we do. I, I, and Yeah, I think it, it you know. And he's the, he's the right guy to, to share this kind of thing with. Because not, not all hard. guys would be comfortable with that. It's hard to imagine not, you know, not having a partner that, you know, took common interest. And that goes for anything. Like surfing for us is, like I said in the beginning, that it's you know it is a commonality we get to share it together but yeah when you you know your question it, it i you know i don't know maybe there's something else that you know we would find common grounds i mean we both like to eat i guess we could be like <laughs> little foodies you know or uh you know we like the same kind of movies so i guess there are other things that we can enjoy and then you let your partner do you know what they're really passionate about and i think amber keyed on it that you know if you really love somebody and you you support them mm -hmm. you know i think uh it, we surfing just is a big part of us our lives and for a lot of my friends as well like she was saying her she has a girlfriend so i think the partner would just and this is why i would think about it that you just support them because they love it so much no matter what you know what it is so i, I think that's probably if that if that were in our case if we didn't have this commonality commonality of surfing probably just you know say amber she loved it so much i'd be stoked for her because you know like 
again, she was the queen of Carlsbad. So she was, and then yeah. she walked into. But you worked at a surf shop, so yeah. you kind of. I guess you chose. I mean, I, had, I don't know. How to, <laughs> she chose. She had. A she lot chose to choose you. From, yeah, she had a lot to choose from. There's some, in my opinion, a lot of. So she better. was choosing a surfer. Let's say that. Yeah. Can we say that? Yeah, for okay. sure. But okay. I mean, you know, not all. A lot of, a lot of surfers. You know, they, they. I think a lot of guys who surf would have a difficult time having their partner be a surfer. I don't know yeah. about that anymore, no, I though. Agree. I, I, think, I mean, I think uh, I think some people have some changed attitude. a lot, though. Don't you think, Mike? That there's, you see a lot Maybe, of surfing uh, couples now. Younger. Don't you think? I, no, I don't. You don't? I don't. Oh. I don't. Really? Huh. That's why I was stoked to get up here with you guys. <laughs> okay. I, I see a few here and there. It seemed like it's a little more common now than it used to be back Probably. when we first started dating. Yeah, definitely more common. Well, I think common. there's more females in the water, yeah, more ladies in the water. Yeah. More, more to choose from. <laughs> yeah. No. And like Oceanside now is like, oh, yeah. I think the ground, the girls. Yes. I think there's more girls than boys out there. Yeah. The there's girls. There's yeah. a big contingency of, of female rippers in Oceanside for sure. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. No, I love it. Yeah, it's cool. For yeah. sure. So. Yeah. And then we we kind of coach we coached the high school for two years and we started the middle school thing. So we saw all it. these yeah, girls come the, up. Yeah, you get firsthand you know look at what's the the talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's super. And awesome. now you got like Katie and yeah, you got I know all these other girls that are just <laughs> killing it. Yeah, yeah. She man, Katie's amazing. Yes. True so talent. what about this other scenario? <laughs> all right, one of you guys is out of the, like you said you're out of the water. Yep. How, are you ever like bummed like she gets to go surf and <laughs> you're well, like. Like, yeah, kind of like I got a good Amber's going to career like, career path story about that. I'll never right. forget this. Yeah, so back when I first started uh, shaping, and we all get edgy when we don't surf. Oh man, no doubt. Yeah, yeah it's super right. edgy. We, we, we all know that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean, if if she got to surf and I didn't, yeah, a good story about that was I remember because I was I just started shaping and um, uh, you know uh, I was choosing another well. A, a career path that I could do both, balance both. So I was trying to be a firefighter. Okay. And I actually got hired, and I'll never forget this. Uh, we're the station I was at, we're in the East County, and we were on three days a week in a row. And I'll never forget, you know, Amber, and she wasn't even trying to rub it in. She was just telling me how her day went. You and know? she was firing. <laughs> exactly. It was right at the beginning of summer. The water finally got warm. It yeah. was firing. And I'm sitting here in the station in the East County going. Just sweating. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Boy, did I pick the right path, you know. And, of course, now I, in retrospect, I look back on that like, what a dummy I am now. Because I probably would have been retired and I keep surfing, you yeah. know. But you I still remember. had four days off that week. Exactly. <laughs> but, of course, I was a young. I'm not going to say a kid. I was okay. mature. I knew better. But yeah, she came back. Oh, it was firing, and I'm just sitting there like, oh man, this sucks, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think for sure that uh, if she got served, and again, she was not rubbing it in. She was just saying, you know, she was just telling her her day. As a matter of fact, it was just you know, it was yeah. good. So yeah. surfing's always a part of our day if it, if it can be part of it. Yeah. So it's, yeah. a, it's always going to be a topic of conversation. Is it always at the dinner table, oh, or is it kind of like that's the time not to? Talk no, about no. Surf? Surfing gets talked about anytime, anywhere. Like, okay. hey, Amber, you know, she'll come back because again, she surfs way more than I do now, and okay. she'll tell me how it was. I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, how was the water and. You know, she's like, yeah, it's good. You should go out. And, you know, she's always encouraging. You should go out, you know. But I know how you are. You just want to relax and not do anything today. So, so. You but, worked hard. You know, yeah. Yeah, not really that hard. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys, does one inspire the other in surfing? I, motivates or? Uh, it motivates of, for sure. Um, I think, like, one thing that gets me, uh, always impresses me with Wally is especially like he doesn't surf as much as he used to right and I'll go out and I'm banging my head against the wall trying to get a darn wave and do something with it and he's over there just bam 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 oh, got another all the ways. one got another one turns here as turns long as there. it's two foot I can do that when it gets okay. bigger I'm like oh I don't know if I can paddle into that one <laughs> <laughs> I think that one day you and Jamie were at a buck and you guys were out together, and I had just strolled out there, and Jamie said something like, "What? Look, he's getting so many waves. How did he do that?" You know, so. I think that was the day I got hurt. Oh, that's the day you got hurt. That's yeah. right. Oh man, that sucks. But yeah, yeah. no, she, mo- yeah, you know, her. My motivation for her is again, I'll go back to her positivity. You know, just you know, it was good, and always encouraged me, honey. You should get out there. It's really fun today, or you know, just she's always encouraging. So yeah, she, she definitely 
is encouraging and uplifting. I think that goes just for everybody, though. She'll do that, not just me because I'm her husband, you know, so. Hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, well, we love surfing. I love surfing. Yeah, Amber loves surfing. Did, I, did we mention that, Mike? That we you love surfing. Surfing. Okay. We love to go together, for sure. <laughs> so you being a shaper... Do you ever think like she's pulling the the, the board out of the garage like eh, wrong board today? Oh boy, she's one of the toughest people to make surfboards for. Oh, uh, Okay, she's, and then yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, no, she. Well, we no rep. Does she go in there? Are you going in there ever with him? Uh, the and, shaping room? Yeah. No, that's his domain for okay. sure. Okay. Uh, mostly for me. You give him your dimensions or whatever at the house. Nope. I just tell him how the boards are working. Okay. And I let him. He's the expert. Okay. Let him kind of try to shape a board that he thinks is going to work for me and lately it's been a challenge yeah well you know injuries and everything that's age, been going on you know not not telling you you know no you're us, right <laughs> both of us age you know <clears throat> trying to hit the right dimensions you know it, you know we're slowing down we want to you know we're getting out paddled by 16 year olds and you know we're trying to you know equalize compensate that. that yeah that compensate with the boards yep and so you know more volume you mm, know a little more width yeah exactly <laughs> me too mike <laughs> Volume and solves a lot of problems. Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, it, it, she's become a great challenge, you know, like she still wants to rip, you know, she doesn't want to just cruise. So, you know, foam is our friend, so, you know, it's always a challenge to try to figure out where, you know, where to put it for her. So, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, she's, she's one of the, probably one of my biggest challenges to make surfboards for her because, you know, of course, I want to see her rip. I want to see her have a good time, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want her to have fun, not to be like, this board kind of sucks, you know, like. So I, I want to make sure that I get it right so she can have a good time. And that, then That's like one of the most amazing things, though. So, uh, you know, as, as a young woman growing up as a surfer and going to see a shaper and trying to get a good board that works and, you know, that not always so engaged in that process. They're, you a lot know, of like, shapers didn't yeah. really care, huh? Yeah. yeah, just like, well, what do you well, want? Well, want, they want the money. And I don't know. Maybe that's the wrong word, but... Yeah, so, so just like, what do you want? Tell me what you want, you know, and not, not like super into it. So, um, you know, Wally's very, just was so passionate about shaping. Okay. And um, it, it really, he, he took this pathway uh, after we met. Okay. And um, he was talking about it. And I said, hey, you know, maybe you should just try it. Oh, no, yeah. I mean, you think about that. Like, Amber, you know, you talk about motivator, right? She's a go-getter. And yeah, if it weren't for Amber, I wouldn't be shaping. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. That's I mean, awesome. Yeah. She. And so he just puts so much into pretty much everybody's board. He he says I'm a challenge, but he really does fret over everyone's board. He really cares about how it's going to come out, and he imagines him sh- shaping boards for other surfers he watches. Like, oh, I think I could tweak that for watch them. Watch WSL. <laughs> I think I could tweak that for them, and I think it would make that flow so much better. And this and that. He's super passionate. So uh, it's. So you're treating your customer just like you treat your wife, then. You know what? I, I, again, that, that's, I think that's what she's saying. I'm sure there are a lot of people debate this on your podcast, but you know what? I really, <laughs> really like people. I, I, you know, if there's one thing that came out of this whole shaping career for me is friends. You yeah. know, I, I people that I've met, my, okay. you know, my journey. I, I just love my friends and people that I've met through shaping. So yeah, so but yeah, I care about everybody's boards a lot. So you're trying to you you're trying to get the perfect board for everybody. Trying to yeah, and I know and that's yeah. that's a tough thing, man. Yeah, you know, but yeah, that's my ultimate goal for sure. Yeah, but yeah, if it weren't for Amber, I mean, wow, you know, she again, she, I told her, yeah, you know, I, I'm just sometimes I, I'm not a self starter. I'm not a you know, I just I like to cruise. But Amber and her dad. Uh, you know, Amber's like, well, if you like it so much, you know, because I would, when I would, here, I'll go backtrack a little bit. Okay. Every board I ever got, I would watch Michael Barron shape. He okay. didn't know this at the time, but it was full industrial espionage. You know, I'd watch him shape my board. Mm. like, I'm really. Did you have the idea of you were going to be a shaper one day? Uh, or were you just fascinated two, by it? It's fascinated by it. Okay. Two part story, but I'll save that for another, you know, another time. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but Amber just saw, you know, like my pure, my pure interest in, in shaping and talking about surfboards all the time. And um, she, if it weren't for her, she asked her dad, hey, well, first off, she was like, well, if you like it so much, why don't you do it? And I'm like, well, I don't know how. Like, what am I supposed to do? She goes, well, I'll ask my dad. And, you know, we'll put a, ask if we can put a, you know, shed in the backyard. 
and you can shape back there and you get some tools everybody pitched in everybody like my, my brothers bought my planer my dad did the the electrical for the lights and I bought a shed Amber's dad let me put the shed in his backyard in Carlsbad and you know all these people it wasn't just me that put me on this pathway it was everybody else but Amber definitely was you know the driving force behind that and you know it, again if it weren't for her you know I still be working at offshore surf shop <laughs> you think so <laughs> oh yeah barbie would be like dewey when are you gonna get out of there <laughs> so i think we touched on this a little bit uh, actually a lot but i, I want to know yeah amber do you feel like you and maybe are you trying to impress wally when you're whipping out there when he's there do you feel like you surf better or do you feel like it's just you're surfing does that make sense what i'm saying well like you want to throw a big turn right yeah, your husband. Right. yeah. <laughs> Like, watch this. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, I always want to surf well. Okay. That, so that's, okay. so it, from that standpoint, I'm always trying my best. Right. It's been, it's that. becoming more and more challenging as, right. you know, we age and yeah. we, we lose our agility and, and, thing, and things that happen. But um, I, I don't feel like I'm trying to prove anything to him. Okay. I'm super excited to share it with him, though. To share it with him. It's okay. so funny, though, because remember we were surfing, we were surfing North Jetty the other day. And you know, she did. She got a brand new board last yeah. week, and you know, of course, I'm like, "Oh, is the thing working? Did I get all the dimensions right?" Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah for sure. And I just see her take off on this right, and like from behind, I'm just like, you know, here, crash. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, oh yeah, like me. I'm like, so that's so sick. And yeah, she's gonna come back and be like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Best board yeah, ever. Yeah. <laughs> like the, again, the challenges we've been having with you know backs or whatever. Like, yeah, she's like so stoked, and that what is what does it for me. You know, like. I'm so happy that my wife is happy. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's, yeah. That's and you sure. help make her a little happier that day, at least. Yeah, I'm not going to pat myself on the back. I'm right. just so happy she's ripping, you know. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm so happy she's, you know, that is what does it for me. She's having fun, you know, and she's so stoked. You know, ear to ear grin. Super stoked. You're in the parking lot, you're changing, and she's catching one more wave in. Or or vice versa, right. actually. Yeah. Well, do you to... ever run in, like, the wall, and like, dude, did you see that cut back again? <laughs> or, or Amber, did you see that cut back again? <laughs> Or are those days gone? Like, okay, I know right. I do that with my wife. Like, did you see it? No, sleeping. <laughs> did you get that on video? <laughs> That's the worst. I always, if, I, if I've come in, I always try to, like, watch the ocean and see if I can catch it, see his wave in, okay. for sure. Okay. Yeah, she does. But you're it's not coming like, in and bragging? No, nah, man, I, those Ooh. days are over. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, those days are over, for sure. No bragging. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's another good one about videoing. Yeah, that's another one. The right, let's old, talk about videoing. Yeah, the Little League dad comes out. Yeah, I, I get on her for... Because, like, I don't have that many in the tank, so when I get a good one, I want to make sure she catches it, you know, on video. So if she misses it, I'm like, what are you doing? Okay, so that's kind of the same situation as what I was talking <laughs> really? about. He, yeah. he, the, these days, his, uh, he's got a new hobby, you know, related to Insta and all this. And he, every now and then, he likes to put together a little clip. And um, he needs a videographer. Mm. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, awesome. <laughs> so, so does he volunteer you? Oh, yeah. He, yeah. Asks, he asks me. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> nice of him. When, finds out when we can do it. <laughs> and um, But, you know, he's definitely very, uh, very particular. much Wally. Very particular. Don't miss anything. Mm. Um, and, um, you know, it, but uh, but he has a lot of fun with it. I do, and but I'm, I'm, I've gotten I, better at video. I, yeah, so. she definitely has gotten better, but I'm not so nice if she misses a turn. <laughs> and you remember. Cause, yeah, I remember because, like, I don't have many of those. So did you get that one? Yeah, but it didn't yeah, come yeah. out that nice. Yeah. You know, it's like, you got that, right? Because if you didn't, I'm going to be really pissed off right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Good, good luck getting somebody to video for you. And that's always says, like, hey, you want me yeah. to do this or not? <laughs> that's a free gig she's doing yeah, for you. Exactly. You know, people pay, like, 50 yeah, bucks an big, hour to get this. Money. Yeah, yeah, so be thankful, you jerk. <laughs> you <know>? grateful <laughs> husband. <laughs> and then, since you're a competitor, and you start for the board riders mm -hmm. on the team, so you could both compete still. Yep. Are you still competing at all, ever? Um, I just did board riders recently. That's okay. that's the only thing I've done for a really long time. Okay. Yeah. Fun. Did oh, fun? for sure. Okay. Yeah, awesome. And you know, Oside has a pretty cool group of girls. So mm -hmm. right with the board riders, there's just the four women. Yep. And um, and then it's all age brackets on that, right? Yep, yeah. all age brackets, and uh, it's been really nice, you know. Um, there's there's me, the old lady, <laughs> and, uh, and then there's Coral, the co little college plus, yep. right? And and she's super cool. And then we got the youngins, um, you know, uh, uh, Marley, 
Um, and Ta- uh, was that Taylor? Taylor, Taylor? Uh, and Rachel. Oh, yeah, Rachel. All right, and um, and Caitlin. Sometimes we want know, Katie so bad. She, <laughs> all she, the time. she has a pretty busy schedule. Yeah. Um, so it's been it's been pretty awesome because they've uh, embraced having me around, and nice. so that that's fun. Um, and they're it's a really super well crew. Deserved. You you belong there, um, by the way. Uh, just fun, you know. Yeah. Uh, whatever whatever Coach Daniels wants to do, I'm all okay. about it. Okay. Uh, support the team and support the support the upcoming youth. Yeah. So yeah. awesome. Are you teaching the young ladies anything? Helping them out? Are they John, coming to you? John Daniels is doing yeah. a great job with that. Yeah, he has he's whole, the man. He has this whole coaching program, and yeah. um, you know, if they wanted to talk about stuff, I'm all for it. But most of them have a lot of good guidance. Okay. Okay. So it's pretty nice. So, yeah. but board riders is fun. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Super fun. Yeah. You guys watching contests together? Yeah. WSL. You're watching, WSL. watching it all last the time. Night. Okay. Yep. Are you guys yep. analyzing and yep. talking? Do you guys have your favorite servers? Yeah, Amber will throw out a score. I'll throw out a score. Hers is a little more accurate than mine. Oh, <laughs> uh, really? Okay. Yeah. Amber. Yeah. She, you know, with her competitive background, man, she's she's keyed in. She's dialed in for sure because she knows what judges are looking for and. Uh, a lot yeah. of times it's on in the background when I'm working, so oh, okay. I'm not not I can't focus on it, right? But right. every now and then, you know, we really have some time to watch some heats and think about them carefully. And uh, is there a heat, like you guys see like who's coming up? Like, I'm going to put 20 minutes or, or 35 minutes aside and watch a heat. Yeah, every so often I have like, to John, say, get, John, John, get out of the garage. <laughs> You're going to be done working for a minute and watch. Carolyn Marks, John, John, that's it. Yeah. That's his his play roster. <laughs> <laughs> who's yours? Um, I like to watch all the girls, all the girls. so I'll try to They're watch. Ripping. I'll try to watch all the, the surfing's heat. gotten a lot. I watched um, you know, this heat over <clears> in uh, Narrabeen that um, Macy Callahan was in, mm-hmm. and um, wow, poor thing, she is just knocking on the door. Mm-hmm. I, I thought she, I thought she advanced, and, and that one over there, it was a tough deal for her. But and then she got Carissa the other day. Mm. And she put and up two. No joke. Oh, oh yeah, man. she put up two excellent scores. She made Carissa earn it, but yeah, she, she did it. So um, yeah, it's been fun. But yeah, we, we yeah we to watch talk about it. It's, yeah, definitely talk about it. You know, she'll call me at work. Like, hey, did you watch that heat? I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. And I crack yeah. up on the people who are so negative about WSL. And I, I, <laughs> so I you're mean, telling me I'm negative? <laughs> on occasion. <laughs> I, but it's just um. You know, I think back to the days when you would wait for the magazine to show up, and you know, you had so no you idea. were in the contest. Your name was in the magazine, correct? Uh, At some point, contest results. Yeah. You remember that? Well, they used to put the results in the back. They used to put the magazine free, Mike. In the back. Yeah. <laughs> I brought it. <laughs> oh, right. So uh, yeah, but you didn't like, know. We didn't know if I lived in Huntington or something. What you, your results were for three months? Yeah, that's right. Two months, yeah. whatever. You're Absolutely. Kind of waiting, the, yeah. you're waiting even, for your subscription to come. Like, did I finally make it in the results yeah. section? Or you know, what, even, how, what did Amber do? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Three you months know. later. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> April. And you, your contest is in February. Yeah. I mean, and now you can watch it live stream. Yeah. Uh, and it's fantastic coverage. It is actually pretty good coverage. Yeah, and the commentary is usually really good. Yeah. Um, right. You know, yeah. everybody has their favorites, but it's right there. You can enjoy it and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with how much things have changed and how much more access you have to see what's going on okay. all, all yeah. over the world. I mean, yeah, you think about it, you're working from home, I'm in my room, and we're both watching the same thing. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. He gets pretty fired up on John John. Yeah. John John's the guy, huh? I don't know. You know, mine's parcel because I work for the company. So, oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I mean, like, yeah, a little <laughs> Tyler, bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Tyler, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's all fired up on Tyler. Okay, so um, second favorite server. Do you have the same favorites, or who are yours? Yeah, what's, are you, your, what's your all-star team? What's you my, said Carolyn what? Marks. No, that's mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he really. I like Carolyn Marks too. She rips. She's just an amazing, Harvard, yeah. amazing yeah, up and coming surfer. You know, I have this I have. Hi- history of when she was writing chemistries back before mm-hmm. she became so so talented, and so sometimes I think back to that. I think that's too bad for Jay and. And will the way that worked out? Yeah, um, I, I think she was talented then too. Yeah, for oh, sure. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Ever since she burst no, no on question. the scene, yeah. she's I'm talented. I'm a big, I'm a big Lakey fan. Oh, really? I really want to see her achieve her potential. Okay. And um, yeah, I, I I feel a little frustrated for her with the back problem she's having and the mm. near misses she's getting. Okay. Um, absolutely love the way Tatiana Weston surfs. That's what I'm. A lot of she's becoming everyone's favorite kind of. Some of my other buddies. She has, she is strong and yeah. solid. 
She stays in Oceanside sometimes too. Oh wow, way. really? Yeah. I think cool. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I know she cool. does. So yeah. you see her cruising down. It's a, fr- a friend of the friend's family that yeah. she stay with. Uh, they're Brazilian. Oh, okay. So cool. Yeah. Got an international star roaming around Oceanside. Yeah, I sometimes I think that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Right on. You guys have any more? Uh, well, thank you guys for joining me. This is Mike. Been this super is, oh, fun. Oh, Mike, this has been so fun. Super yeah, for funny. sure. This is you. You know, love what you're doing. Absolutely yeah, love what you're I, doing. I'm a you know, ball and, doing this. and you know, to just to have something like this that you're so passionate about to bring it to everybody else. You know, yeah. this is really really cool to, to to see this and have your guests on. Thank and you. So, yeah, we're, I'm very grateful. Thank you for having me on for sure. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. Super you guys have fun. any final words? Well, I thought of one, like one Let's fun. Say, oh, just one final story, and I think maybe your listeners will definitely get a kick out of this. I'll never forget going back. We I, we weren't Amber and I weren't dating. I, everybody knew who she was, of course. Again, and Amber probably didn't think that you know competition uh, on the women's side was you know the bar wasn't high enough, so she would enter in the men's division. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Look, Amber's really because she knows where oh, this that's is going. Rad. Yeah. I love that. So Amber would surf the men's division. I love that. And of course, that's it was correct. me. It was at Tamarack. Yeah. It was WSA at Tamarack. It was me and all the other Carlsbad Ripper guys from the WSA. And guess what happened? She smoked all of us. Yes. That's awesome. We all lost her. <laughs> <laughs> now, how old were you then? I was 20... Probably 21 or 22. So this is before she walked in the shop and talked to you. Yeah, before she scared me out of you know out yeah, of my yeah, pants. Yeah. But yeah, no. <laughs> now I know why she scared you. Well, yeah, because she, she just smoked heat. you. Oh, in the heat. So, <laughs> and not was it was it not you know and it was in separate heats. It wasn't like we were all in the same heat. Like yeah. she would just like methodically pick That's us so off through the, every round. You know, like I was probably a first round clown, so she probably picked me off in the first round. <laughs> you know, and then it was like my buddy Mike Dennis, who at the time he well he still rips, and then there's a couple I forget the other guys, but Mike Dennis being one of them too. Smoked him in the heat, took him out. <laughs> and one other guy, I can't remember who it was, but yeah, she just methodically picked us out through every round. And I don't know where she ended up in that contest, but that was like the ongoing joke. Like, dude, you just got beat by a girl. Yes. You know, like that whole thing with the guys, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And back then we weren't so politically correct and we were so bummed. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's hot and all, but man, we don't really want to lose to her in the heat, you know? <laughs> so, so I ended on that. I mean, yeah, that, that you know. I'm glad that she's on my side now. Yeah. <laughs> she, she beats me. I'm like, man, she's, I'm married to her. She's supposed, you know, that's, that's all good. Yeah, that's you're their why. team. Yeah, we're a team. So, <laughs> one wins, one wins. Yeah, exactly. One wins, both wins. Both win? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I like that. <laughs> I just, having a life as a couple, as a surfing couple is an amazing life. So yeah. I, Nice. Yeah. yeah. On, on the marriage, and I'm very grateful to have her as my wife. And, you know, I'm just hopefully... As be a good husband to her too so good words man. yeah good words thank you guys so much for joining Mike, me here on pleasure. the pleasure thank you again again thank Thanks you thank you us, yep. yeah super stoked good times all right everybody have a good evening see ya bye everybody thanks everyone for joining us this week if you like the episode hit subscribe give us five stars and leave a review like us on instagram quiver underscore cast Music brought to you by Barry Snyder, punk rock grandpa. You guys all have a good week, and I'll see you in the lineup.
Hey, you guys, Endless Summer box set. This thing is legit. It's authentic, numbered certificate in it. It has a five-frame film strip. From the original print, you will literally own a piece of history. It has a specially minted bronze medallion. Dude, that thing's sick. Okay, there's so much more here. Go to the show notes. There's a link on there. Go check this piece of history out. This thing's rad. Seriously. Smithsonian American History Museum has it. It took four years of research with 3.5 in production. All hand assembled. This thing's rad. So much to this awesome box set. Remastered DVD. Sharper images than the original film. But dude, this thing's so sick. Link in the show notes.